Whilst most associate the middle of winter as a time of rest after the hard efforts of the other seasons, for Leanne and Scott of Milgrove Truffles, this is their busiest time of the year. We were lucky enough to have been invited to the farm for a Sunday morning hunt with the Lagoto Romanalo truffle dog, Solly, to learn about the exquisite black truffle, Tuba malasporum. Good boy, thank you, truffle. Oh, I found it. That's yeah. sweet. <laughs> so, the wonderful thing about harvesting truffle is smelling the soil. Mm. So we know it's ripe. Yep. Yeah, and you're very clever. Sure. Would you yeah. like to dig it out? Because mm. I dig out millions. <laughs> really? Yeah, so oh, you, you're going to go for it. Try and roll it out. Yeah, I'm rolling it out, yeah. Oh, wow, that's good. Oh, that smells so amazing. Fresh. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Solly. Thank you, Solly. Good, good job, Solly. <laughs> so you can move to the next one if you like. Angry We've got to keep going. We've got to <laughs> working with dogs. <laughs> I know, and he, I know. I must have <laughs> He's really um, motivated. He is. Yeah. Yeah. He is. Show me. Good. Good boy. Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> so, yeah, good boy. <laughs> so the ah, you helped oh, yourself. He one out. Oh, he one That's out. why he wears <laughs> shoes normally. <laughs> but we've got the sore toe. Solly would ordinarily wear little boots to protect the truffles from incidents like these, but he had a sore toe and was hunting without them. Sometimes you'll find more than one in a hole and we call that a cluster. Mm -hmm. You so call that, that a that payday. Was... Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. 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 Nice. You're being so good. <laughs> that, yeah. You only work for treats, don't you? Come on. <laughs> Let's go. Where's the truffle? A good one? Good one. Oi, oi. Oh. Yep, yep. Good boy. Lots of bugs on this one. Yeah. Is, is there bugs on it because it's actually pushed up and it's right near the surface? Yeah, and they're right. right. There's a big one right on top. Yeah. Oh, he's keen. Yeah. And hence is why you can't hunt and harvest at the same time because he's too impatient. Oh, that's why the markers? That's why we use yeah. markers and I come back. So <laughs> walk with the dog and then I've got to come back and oh, there's too much good smells in mm. truffles. Yes. Oh, look at that. Amazing. Yes. Oh, he's <laughs> well keen. <laughs> so it's the, so fun, it, it's the fun of finding the truffle, not just getting the treat. He's no, just like, he, he oh. just loves doing it and time with me and prays that he's a good boy. He is a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> yes. You're willful. Mm. Oh my goodness, that was just in one cluster. Yeah. Mm. Amazing. Good boy, Solly. Oh, Solly, good dog. Then it's a perfect day, nice and cold to be finding truffles, isn't it? Truffles have an incredible gestation period, forming in the springtime, reaching maturity in late autumn, and releasing their aroma, allowing animals to find and consume them. The truffle spores then run through the animal's digestive tract where they can deposit them somewhere else for a potential new flush. Oh, that, one that smells good. That smelled a good one, did it? Mm. With already a good haul and the rain setting in, it was time to take cover and discover how Scott and Leanne became truffle farmers. So, when Scott started this adventure, he was up here making Italian sausage and one of the founding members of the truffle industry bought some truffle over and they were going to put it in their sausage and try and win a competition. And he said, hey Scott, let's plant truffles down there. You've got a southern slope. And we said, you come up with a plan and we'll do it. Well, Scott said that, not me. <laughs> Eventually he told me on Monday morning that he was going to become a truffle farmer and it was like, holy dooly. Um, you why, know, why was the southern slope important? Probably because it was colder. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, colder. Like a bit of frost in the yeah, because the we were just the only, well, truffle industry only started in Manjum up in 1997, and this was 2004. Mm -hmm. So they had only, they were probably following a European version of climate and thought the southern slope would be colder, especially in our hot summer. Yep. And at the time I said to Scott, this is ridiculous. It's, it, we know nothing about farming. We yep. know absolutely less about truffle. 
and it was going to cost us about 100000 and we were just thinking at the time, how are we going to do this? He was determined to put them in and I had an accounting background and thought, well, it's like superannuation. If you leave it long enough, you might reap the rewards yep. or you might lose everything. So we only have 760 trees and now we're inoculated with the spores by Alan Blakers at Five Acre Nursery and we planted them in 2005 in September. So this will be their 17th winter in the ground. Mm -hmm. What are the trees? They're hazelnut and oak trees. Our, our combination of hazelnut and oak trees, and at the time we didn't really think about what species of hazelnut or oak. We just took the Heinz special that he gave us. After 17 winters, Scott and I still don't know how to grow truffle and what really happens because you don't see them. It is a subterranean fruit yep. of a fungus yep. and it's just luck of the draw if you're going to have a good year or not. Yep. Um, and there's lots of different elements even when you try to work it out. We have hot summers, you know, late winters, um, bugs and insects eat truffles. But we actually vacuum clean our orchard and pick up a lot of the bugs, hence is why we get a good crop. Gotcha. Small, yeah, small yeah, scale. Small and it's in our backyard. You can control and we control it. it. Yes, mm. yes, and we're being very lucky to probably harvest over um, half a tonne of truffles, um, which is very good on only 760 trees. Amazing. Mm. Have you found that you've had other animals eating your truffles? Yes, you have rabbits and all sorts. <laughs> Hence, it's a big fence for the kangaroos. Yeah. Is that a good thing? I mean, for them, they'll spread it? Or? <clears throat> it probably is, but they do make a mess scratching into the ground. You know, you get these holes everywhere and every hole. So when truffles um, grow under the soil, they actually push the ground up and make a crack in the top. And our slaters and everything, just like your pot plant at home, slaters get underneath there. Right and um, live and then potentially will eat your crop. crop. And so once you harvest it and it has got an insect mark, we will just slice that off. Mm. And so you'll see a lot of truffles might be truffle pieces mm -hmm. and that's because we've had to cut them mm -hmm. because that's always a challenge. It's very difficult to get a beautiful truffle out of the ground without some sort of mark or damage on them. Yeah. And they only have about a two week shelf life so you have to wash them, clean them, get them to market as soon as you can. Even, if, even when they're totally intact? Yes. Oh. Is the shelf life um, after that, the aroma's not there anymore? The, yes, it, the aroma fades, yeah. Mm. So the aroma sort of goes, I reckon, on a, on a profile, so it actually smells fabulous now, and then I think it drops off. Yeah. Every truffle has a different aroma, so if you actually looked at the aroma wheel, Francine would have a different smell than what you and I okay. will if we smelt a truffle. Yep. So everybody would say, oh, that smells like wet dog or yeah. <laughs> whatever. And it is interesting. So I think that's what's wonderful about fresh truffle is that the aroma is quite different from a synthetic mm -hmm. aroma that you get from truffle products right. on a shop shelf. So that is why we enjoy them when they're in season because we can't capture that aroma any other it's way. Gone. Yeah. It's gone, yeah. So we're all within mm. this quarter, I suppose. Yeah. But it's also sweet. I'm getting sweet. Ah. Mm. Yeah, and in some, like I've smelt, yes, yeah, that's what I smell, malt. Like, it like is, a, and you know, sometimes when you like harvest when you're them, a, some of them smell beer. like wine. So you get yeah. into the sweet yeah, fruitiness, okay. molasses, wine. Yeah. And you'll go, wow, this reminds me of a lovely glass of red. So Have you had stouts before? It smells like stout. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I still smell mushroomy. Still smell yeah, mushroomy. and I different. Yeah. yeah. Asking Fran if it smells like some sort of alcohol is probably <laughs> no, no use. No use. Although I did have wine last night. <coughs> what? You boozer. And then pick up another one. That smells earthier to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that does smell different to the last one. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it amazing? Everyone's so unique, but mm. it's from the same orchard. Yeah, yeah, it is. So, you know, is is it the ground? You know, there's probably different mm. aspects. And then, then I, as the years have gone on, I think of all different things. Is it just the soil? Is it the soil organisms? Maybe the, maybe the tree gives up more or less carbohydrates and different compounds. Yeah, so as, and I think that's quite the amazing thing that I think I grow a lot of truffles, I harvest a lot, I touch a lot, and I still wouldn't like to tell people I know how to do it. Smells strong? Uh, it starts yeah. to go away a bit, yeah. 
the... Yeah, it will go away because I'm washing in tippered yeah. water here because it's too cold to have cold water. So this is where Solly's claws have gone through it, which yeah. is why he should have had his boots on, naughty uh, boy. Oh, yeah. And so that damages your product. In Europe, they can actually sell the truffle dirty, but because we're export and it's leaving the country, we wash the dirt off. This one's got lots of cracks in it. Oh, that was a little um, stone. Yeah, there's a stone in there. They didn't want to give you the A-grade one. <laughs> I, I got to choose it, actually. I chose a difficult one. <laughs> that smell is intense. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that's because they're just freshly harvested and washed. Mm -hmm. The grading process is the next stage. Mm. They will be gone by this evening to the market. Scott has also been busy constructing a front of house to sell truffles on site for visitors next year and he was kind enough to show us around. So this, you've done all this with freezer cameras. Yeah. You did come up smart. Yeah. Well, see, That's great. I really want you to have a non-pervious wall, you know, that is meant to be, uh, uh, you know, like healthy and all that sort of stuff. So non-pervious has no sort of gaps or pain in yeah. it. And so it was a bit of a mission. No one could tell me how to do it, so. Where this would be is actually the joint, a shipping container here that come together. Well, I did it all and brought them all together. Well, then you've got to seal it. Yep. Next year there'll be a proper roof over there, make all the window frames. I'd like to see some nice uh, timber. Okay. So we'll get a proper, not a big board, but something there, and then land will have, like I said, something here. So if we have people like Kevin come yesterday, theoretically, land can open that and serve to the customer. Yep. A special thank you to Scott and Leanne for being so generous with their time and knowledge, as well as to the dream team of Pam and Francine for making this visit happen. Now whilst the travel season is over in Manjima, for this year. If you're interested in doing a hunt next year with Scott and Leanne like we did in this video, I've put a link to their website in the description. Good morning girls. Good morning goats. It's freezing isn't it?
We didn't believe it until we tried it, but keeping truffles with your eggs overnight allows the aroma to permeate the yolks. Truffle aroma can be quite complex, so we've found that you don't want to overwhelm it with other strong flavours. We think serving it like this, with simple soft scrambled eggs, really allows its unique flavour to shine. Oh, yeah, that is truffly. I left the eggs with the truffles, it really worked overnight. What was it like before you grated them on? Truffly, but not as truffly. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it's so yummy. Thanks everyone so much for watching the video this week. And if you haven't already, thanks for subscribing to our channel and hitting the thumbs up button. We'll see you next time.